<laughs> Here I got I got a good one for you. I used to be a call I used to be a Call of Duty player like you. Until I got drop shot at last stand. <laughs> We're here. No, no, let me do it again. Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait, here we go. I used to be a Call of Duty player like you. Until I got last stand drop shot at the knee. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that was like a running joke. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's like stale out there. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you until I got an arrow in the knee. I mean, it is kind of corny, and I knew I did say something on Twitter about... I don't follow those things, but it is like what would happen in Modern Warfare 3, right? Don't you get tired of that? I get tired of that. I get tired of getting drop shotted. I get tired of, like, drop, sh drop shot. I mean, there's a lot of things in this game, right? And, uh, I know in my last video I was talking about... I spent the whole... I spent double the amount of time than I usually play to get the shotguns going and then I and then I, I came to the realization like what the hell am I doing what the hell are you doing you know so I'm not <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you gameplay that's working for me you know if you think it's the same shit over and over again whatever until I get beat by something, I don't really care. I mean, I mean, there's, I mean, it's not gonna be the same weapons, but I mean, I'm excited about the new maps because it is ground war. I would, I do want them to bring a lot of ground war maps. You know, I, I'm kind of like saying to myself, you know, um, I mean, there's a lot of great SMGs. You know, I'm thinking about using the MP5 some more, uh, more than usual. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely disappointed in the Spaz shotgun. And everybody's like, oh well, you know, they're saying like other people can use it. I'm like, um, yeah, other people can use it one out of a hundred. Or one out of a hundred four bars and get a game. You know, it, it's, it's not easy to... It's it's not fun. I wouldn't say easy, but it's not fun to play all the way up to a gold shotgun uh, in the spaz unless you get XP points and somebody gives them to you and and you get it handed to you and you're boosting or whatever. But if you're a legit guy, but here's the one thing. Here's the one thing. I know I said this on Twitter. So if you want to get, you know, if you want to build up your shotguns. And you just have it in your mind that you want to get the shotguns done. Here's the thing. Here's what you do. Go ahead and put the FMG nines as your secondary, and then go specialist. Use your FMG nines to build up the specialist to, you know, the eighth perk or eighth streak. Then switch over to the shotgun that you want to build up. It'll be easier for you. If you're the person that can get streaks, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard with the FMG nines to do that. That's what I've been doing, and it's been making it a lot less, you know, to deal with. Because to, to be honest with you, it's a nightmare. You know, if you want to get damage on the spaz, you know, I'm starting to realize that the spaz is worse than the 87s. I mean, it's literally completely a hit and miss weapon and if you're on three bars forget it i wish xbox ahoy would do a damage video on the shotguns matter of fact i'm going to twitter him on that because i don't want to go through that i don't want to go through it it's horrible it's i mean the shotguns and the lmgs like why bother there's like three smgs you need to use a couple assault rifles that's the game that's it everything else is a novelty it's a novelty. There's no point in using anything else. You know, I mean, you're not going to get consistent, good, you know, you're not going to perform efficient against overwhelming odds. I mean, there is, I mean, there's got to be some winners and there's got to be some losers. 
I mean, that's just the way it goes. You know, there's there's the bad player, the bad guns that are just garbage. I mean, it's like that in every game. There's always, like, when they make a fighting game, they always have the one character that's completely fucking sucks. And then some guy will bring him to the tournament, and he'll, like, try to play him. But then he'll justify why he's losing to, like, Ken or Ryu is because uh, he's playing the bad character. Nobody told you to play the bad character and don't use that as an excuse as to why you're losing. You know, if, if, if Ken and Ryu, I'm just saying this as, as an example, if Ken and Ryu, the ACR, the Scar is the best weapon or the Striker or whatever, whatever the best weapon is that you think it is, then go ahead and use it. You know, that's, it, that's beside the point. I don't never let nobody dictate to me what, you know, uh, I'm going to do in these videos. It is what it is. You know, my whole purpose of doing these videos is to show you through repetition the process of playing the game. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, when you look at my gameplay, you'll say like, okay, when is he pulling out the FMG9s? When is he going back to his primary? When is he using his streaks? When is he attacking? When is he doing this? I mean, we're talking about fundamental basic, not fundamental basic, but um, instinctual situational awareness gameplay. You know, that's what we're talking about. You know, this is stuff that, based on my 30,000 kills in Modern Warfare 3, that I'm passing this information on to you so that way, you know, everybody could, you know, be more competitive, you know, not competitive, but more challenging in the public matches. Because, I mean, I, that's what spawns, here's the thing, you know, people are like, oh, Fist, why are you showing everybody Striker and the P90 and all this other stuff and, you know, just going to make the game really cheesy and, you know, th the whole thing is that, you know, there's, it's just not about what you use in the game, it's how you use it. So in order to understand how to use it, that's what I'm saying when you see these videos and you're like, oh, it's the same thing over and over again. Well, no, it's not. Because this is daily gameplay that you see every day that I play a thousand, I get a thousand kills a day. And I see how people are playing it and I adjust to it. And this will show you on a daily basis what's going on in Modern Warfare 3. And you can use it as a as a as a judging stick or, or measuring stick as to like what you have to change, you know? Like, okay, maybe you're I mean I was very frustrated today. I'm like, man, there's probably some people who are literally like thinking the spaz is like the spaz from Black Ops with the silencer. And they're just sitting there banging their head trying to make it work and they're thinking they gotta take it all the way to the end and they're gonna get this magical power of damage and it's gonna make the shotgun all better, and it's not. It's not going to do that. So, those are the things that I, those are the things I feel sad, feel bad for people. I mean, I don't want you. I mean, obviously it's your game. You paid your sixty dollars. You want to do what you want to do. But you know, if you want to see some stuff that's like, you know, you're just really frustrated with the game. You want to get your streaks going. You want to start killing people. You want to start feeling good about the game. Like I'm feeling good. I mean, I was pretty, I was pretty down today. I was like. I was playing the spaz and I'm like, gosh, you know, I can imagine how, you know, people who use the spaz all the time, now it completely fucking sucks. And then trying to play with it in the game with three bars and all this bad shit that's going, no, hell no. Why do it to yourself? You're not going to go, you're not going to go somewhere and be like, okay, I'm just going to go to Burger King because the line's too long at McDonald's and just eat these, you know, this nasty ass Whopper. You know, no, you're not going to do it. You're just like, fuck it. I'm not going to just don't sell yourself short. Somebody thinks you're if you somebody thinks you're a noob. So what? I don't care. I'm a noob and I'm winning. So what? I'm killing people. That's all that matters, right? I'm having fun. Don't let somebody ruin your fun. You understand what I'm saying? Don't don't let that bother you. I mean, if 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 Infinity Ward, if Infinity, if Infinity Ward wants to change the game, let him go ahead and change it. 
It just to make it better for us, you have to learn new stuff. Hopefully, they'll fix the shotguns. I wouldn't say fix them, but make them a little bit more. I would wish they make the shotgun like the. I wish they make the spaz like the spaz from Black Ops. It'd have been a lot better, to be honest with you. I would love to have two semi-automatic shotguns instead of this pump-action bullshit. They're garbage. You know. So, anyways. You know these guns you have, like the ones I'm using, like the SCAR, in the back of your mind is like, ah, oh, it's my go-to gun. If I need to use it, I'll use the ACR. If I need to use it, i use it. But I like to use the AK. I mean, I got the most kills with the AK uh, out of my repertoire. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from my little message today. Until tomorrow. Stay caught stay thirsty, my friends. Stay call of duty, my friends. Peace. I'm out.